Hey everyone, it's a graphic for share back from the video. Um, excuse my voice and my hair. I just woke up. <coughs> um, so I have a huge yarn haul, and I have a couple finished objects, and that's pretty much about it. I haven't worked on any more of my. Well, I have two pocket shawls finished. I have three hats. Um for boys finish and then I have a baby blanket finish and then I have a huge yarn haul so hopefully I can get this all in one video so let's just get started um no really there will be links in the description box below so yeah so the first finished objects I have are three hats for um little boys my cousin and his fiance and four little kids for babies came up and i gave them a hat and it didn't fit them it was too short for their ears so i made one with a longer brim and they picked red green and blue <clears throat> and their little baby um I made him a blanket. It was my Rose's um, mini blanket pattern. And he absolutely loves it. Um, they said they had a pretty rough night one night because he threw up on it. And she had to throw it in the wash. And they said that was the roughest night with him because he didn't have his... He didn't have his blanket. So I made him another one. Um, his dad wanted um black and green they wanted like patty green or hunter green but i didn't have enough of that so i just used what i had in stash that's the top so i had three different color greens and then i had black and that's that's what I came up with. There's black at the top. So, um, <clears throat> my cousin's dad is coming up to our house on today, actually. So I wanted to get them done so I can send them. Because he lives down where they live. So I wanted to get them done so I can give them to him and he can take them down. My only other two finished objects are two pocket shawls. Um, the last time you seen this one, and this is Pamela's adoring crochet one pattern. Right here is where I was the last time, so I can take that off now. But <clears throat> I just had the ribbing done, but now I finished the whole thing so so you won't see these two anymore because tomorrow i'm taking another batch of stuff up to the little store and i have three bags here and i'm probably at least going to have three or four bags up at my grams and then i finished mine this is my design and right there where the green stitch marker is is where I was the last time I just started this one section of black but <clears throat> yeah there's mine it's made with of course the V stitches and then the black is um, Half double crochet back loop only. So. So I didn't work on anything else. I have three pocket shawls that I have down here. And then I have six um, up at my grams that I'm working on. But, um... 
I'm going to go down and hang out with my mom after I do this video and <clears throat> work on some bracelets. I have two finished. I want to at least get six or seven finished. So I have a little ways to go. So I'm going to pause you guys and I'm going to go over and get my yarn because there's a lot. Okay, I'm back. So, <clears throat> yesterday, I went to Joanne's. <clears throat> I had $80 to spend on buying yarn. I was going to use a 20% off my total purchase, but I figured I would use the um, $15 off 75 or more. So, yesterday, I went and got 34 skeins of yarn for $78. So I basically got like almost, <clears throat> I saved like $45 and like some odd cents. Now I mainly got um, a big twist. <clears throat> I got I'm not going to show you them, but I got three, all of them. I got one, three of white and three of black. And I'm going to crinkle. Sorry. And then I got two of these because my Joann's certain colors has two aisles or like two shelves. And I didn't realize that, but I got <clears throat> two medium gray, which I'll be able to make a pocket show with those. And that's, that was my intentions. I have a lot of yarn, but I don't have a lot of like one specific color. So since I got so much yarn now, I can like mix and match. And I want to make some Wildlander hooded scarves too again. So I just got like the big twists. I got one of every color except for the black, the um, medium gray, and the white. I got two medium gray and then I got three black, three white. And then this is taupe. I got four bags. She was going to put them and a um I'm gonna pause every time I get a bag okay I'm back so I got all of the big twists out I did get a couple um red heart super savers just because when I got all of the colors of the big twists I was only at like 50 or $60. So I'm like, okay, we'll keep. Or I was at like $68. So I got some Red Heart colors. So I got <clears throat> this Varsity Green. <clears throat> I got Varsity Blue. I got my favorite, one of my favorite colors of Big Twist. And this is Coral. I got Coral. <clears throat> I got light green and I got bubble gum again that's my mom's favorite color I got light rose I got medium rose I got grape it's a nice dark purple I got varsity navy <clears throat> I got wine and if you're not familiar with big twist it is the number medium number four machine washable do not tumble dry um, it is 100% acrylic 380 yards 6 ounces 347 meters and 170 grams so you would need about six to make a blanket, depending on how big it is. 
three to make a sweater again depending on how big it is and you can get a scarf and a hat out of one cake or one skein and this one here is aqua and then i got teal sky blue varsity gold soft gray deep red now it's gonna fall on the floor and then i got purple so those all are all i'm gonna pause again to get the rest of them and you guys are gonna laugh at what colors i got uh, at red heart of red heart so like i said i still had some like money that i wanted to spend i was at like 68 dollars and i had 80 to spend so i went over to the red heart to see what they had i was looking for retro stripes but of course they didn't have retro stripes but um they did have some of the colors that i can't get at my other at walmart and i haven't bought yarn at walmart other than mainstays for a really really long time because i think the prices there are kind of ridiculous so anyway so i got a spring green if you're not familiar with red heart it's a medium number four machine wash and dry 100 percent acrylic seven ounces 198 grams 364 yards and about 333 meters and they do have patterns which majority of these have the same exact one yeah <laughs> so three of them have this crocheted scarf and it's pretty pattern that would be awesome I have to make that one so I got spring green I got medium purple and same pattern I got turquoise <clears throat> then there's a knitted um like cow or scarf one here and this is light periwinkle then i got aruba c and that has the same pattern on it and then they had my favorite color pull and you know i made i'm wearing my um every girl um sweater that i made with ferris wheel i love these sweaters i need to actually i'm seriously thinking about finishing and maybe starting some more sweaters for myself because it is getting to be winter here i think the temperature when i woke up this morning was like 30 some degrees so it's pretty good it's getting colder it's get, definitely getting cold and i like to run around the house in these because especially here up here in my room it's a little chilly um so i like to wear these when I'm in my room and I like to wear them out when we go out underneath my hood and stuff but they had four pole and I bought three of them and oh that's knitted man but they had three of them well they had four of them and I got three not considering I got one with my gram the other weekend or the other week she took me to Joanne's to see if they had yellow and they did but not the yellow that I wanted but she let me get a pool because and a spring green because those are my two color favorite colors of red heart so that's it for this video um I'm not really working on anything at my grams other than my pocket shells um, so I have one up there 
that I was working on last weekend, but then we were so busy um, doing the baking and Thanksgiving and stuff, I didn't really have a lot of time to crochet. And then I went to bed early every single night, and yeah. So, um, so now I'm going to put my yarn away and go down and work on some bracelets. I'm also going to take my bracelets, these ones on my, my discs up to my grams. That way I have something to work on. Then I can work on them up there because working on pocket shawls, my kid doesn't really like my yarn touching him sometimes. He gets quite a little bit of an attitude. So sometimes I'll just, I'm going to work on my bracelets. I have seven finished of the Kumihimo ones. The ones I'm working on now are flat. And like I said, I want to get like six or seven of them um, finished so that you can actually see what they look like. <clears throat> so, so I think that's what I'm going to work on today before I go to Graham's and then, <clears throat> and then when I get back, I might work on them some more. So, okay guys, I hope you guys have a great weekend. It is Friday. It is 9.08 in the morning. Um, and it is the 4th already of December. 21 days and Christmas will be here. So I will let you guys go. Like I said, hope you guys have a great weekend. And I will talk to you guys later. Bye.